the historic stockyards and Fort Worth home to so many history making moments in the PBR. And here we go again as Dickey's Arena welcomes the Texas Rattlers to their home dirt for the very first time. It's stop number nine of the inaugural PBR team season. And it's so good to have you with us on a Friday night for Rattler Days. It just revs Marcus Mass up a little bit more. Make no mistake, Mass is here for eight and more. Goes all the way, takes an extra hit on the way down, but guaranteed you're not gonna feel it after a ride like that. Kansas City, they're on the board. <laughs> and look at the smile on Mass' face. Listen to JW Hart on the back of the bucket shoots. That's the most vocal he's been all season long in excitement with Mass stepping up here. As we watch it on Las Vegas gym camp, great job by the veteran for Kansas City. 87 and three quarters aboard smooth over it. That makes the sixth event in a row. Mass has been able to find the whistle for the Outlaws. Yeah, he's been doing a great job for the Outlaws. You can see right here though, great ride. Not a great get off. Hits the ground hard. But as you said, 87 and three quarters, that makes it all better. It's good. Wow. Hevelo hung up there. Good to see him get loose. Did not have the perfect seat from the first jump out of the gate somehow was maybe hanging on to the side, but now you see him on the ground. And uh, first and foremost, sports medicine will move in and make sure that he is okay. Yeah, and he took, he took quite a beating throughout that entire ride. And I'm talking about even when he was still hanging on in the eight seconds, hadn't came yet. And that's a great sign right there, seeing him stand up. And now that we have seen that 78 and three quarters awarded for that eight second ride aboard Whiplash, and say this is one that you're going to have to break down for us. Why, how, I mean, grit, toughness, somehow he made the whistle. Grit, toughness, determination. He has given it his all right here. He's not in a good position from word go, but try. But today he showed the one thing that, that I didn't know he had to this level, and that is the grit, the heart, the determination, the willingness to throw everything out the window and just hang on. Take the shot, take the beating, be willing to sacrifice your body. That's the one question mark I had for Colton Hevel. If I had to bet, I'd say yes. And Davis does it. Right around the steel, shot in the dark, comes out backwards. It doesn't matter. Carolina, they're on the board, courtesy Davis. Never question the focus of Cooper Davis. And if you do, watch this eight seconds. Look at this. Bull is bouncing around like a pinball machine. Cooper Davis has the wherewithal, the situational awareness to just keep his eyes locked right where they need to be. Hear that eight second horn and let's put one on the board for Carolina. Yeah, this is true veteran stuff from Cooper Davis right here. You mentioned it, the focus it takes being right there by the steel. Cooper never takes his eyes off him. He can't run away, but he can ride bulls. Just watching it on the screen, you and I just flinched and jumped back. That looked like it could be painful, but it's good news there for Carolina. I think that he looked himself in the mirror today and said, you know what? It's time for that rookie of the year to step up and do what his team expected him to do. My goodness, Mitchell, the young gun comes in by storm in that final position for Kansas City and walks it off. Before Dalen Swearingen and even nods his head, Kansas City pulls off the upset with that qualified ride. Hey, and let's 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 keep calling it like it is because there's a lot of people in the world that said, well, Kansas City just lost all hope. Are you kidding me? JW Hart has changed something in these guys that he brought to the table here today. They're gonna call, the other sideline's gonna call for a review right now. They're gonna challenge the time and see. I, I, I know that Allen's sitting back there with their team, but look at that team. Kansas City Outlaws are fired up and rightfully so.
So Cooper Davis was the Carolina Cowboy who walked over and hit the challenge button. And I'm uh, on the Carolina Bucking shoot with Cooper right now. Cooper, what, what is it you're challenging? Well, when that bull went, kind of stepped forward and went back the other way, he came really close with his free arm. And, uh, you know, in a situation like this, it's better to double check than let one slide. So we'll see. All right, thanks, Cooper. And they have that challenge, so why would you not use it here? Mitchell awarded at 86 and a half for the effort if it does stand aboard war dress. And do you see any reason it wouldn't, Sage? Well, he does come awfully close. And like Coop said, I mean, it, you have the challenge. Why not burn it? But I don't think he touches this bull. Yeah, you're taking a look at exactly what our replay official is looking at. You can see him back there in that corner booth. And, and again, you know, it, no harm, no foul either way. If you're Cooper and the Carolina Cowboys, it's worth a shot because if it did happen, you still have to life. And it is a qualified ride, hence the celebration there on the back of the Kansas City Outlaw sideline. And uh, not just a win, but a giant upset over Carolina. That kind of quietness in his competitive nature, that's what we saw in the spring. That's what we're seeing here in the fall. Because all the talking, well, it comes in the form of, ooh, eight seconds for Swearingen, who takes a huge shot after that ride as he tries to crawl the arena and the U.S. Border Patrol protection team does their best to cl keep Cliffhanger away. Yeah, and obviously... Everybody wanting to celebrate the, the score for Dalen Swearingen, but I mean, a, an uncomfortable hush over this arena, but you can see all of his teammates. What we can see here in the arena, he, he's up on his feet. There you can see in the front of the buck and shoots, talking to Dr. Tandy Freeman, our sports medicine team. But still, and Sage, you've touched on this before. One of the scariest ways to land and the scariest part of the bull to get hit with as well. Oh, yeah, it's it's never good when something like this happens. It's just great to see Dalen up on his feet. Hey, I want to tell you guys, Lucas Teodoro, Cody Webb, Sir Cooper Juan out there, those three bullfighters, along with James DeBoer, a U.S. Border Patrol safety man, did an absolutely incredible job because where Dalen lands, watch this, he's going to come down. First of all, it's the shot to the head. Thank goodness for the helmet. But this is where it gets really dicey. Look where he's positioned, right next to that gate. Look at the bullfighters start to pull that bull away, and then watch how they maneuver this bull around themselves. Watch. Right there, look at Cooper Wan stepping in. Stepping in. He's going to take the shot if he need be. Remarkable how good those guys are. What an incredible job by those three on the dirt, and how tough is Dalen swearing gin and that 87 and three quarters well that did move him into number one in that MVP race but it's the outlaws who take game number one here on a Friday night in Fort Worth he does it once he does it twice De Castro finds the whistle for the second time aboard Marciano and for Arizona well they are on the board early yeah you mentioned they wanted to set up the for sure deal well Rodney, there's never a for sure deal but right here Luciano stepping up in a big way putting his team on the board great bull rod he's been the PBR Iron Man too only to Castro and then Carolina's Mason Taylor have been in every single ride situation they can throughout the season and uh, what a job he's done as well to really lead this Arizona team. Absolutely. Forte, Forte. Forte, Forte. Sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Spur, 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 spur. Get off here. Salgado sails to the whistle. Homegrown, no big deal. Missouri, they're on the board. Look, I don't know what's going on with Adriano Salgado and Ross Coleman, but look at him. He's like, I'm doing everything you're telling me, coach. And right when you ask me to do it, he says set up. That's what he does. He says spur. That's what he does. Get the job done. Adriano jumping out to a big start.
for Missouri. And jumping up in that MVP race, 87 and three quarters, the score. And before that ride, Salgado was seventh in the MVP race. He jumps up to fourth. Why do I say that? Because this is a guy that is riding in the same production we're seeing from Swearingen, Lemmy, DeCastro, and then here's Adriano Salgado. I don't know anybody has been as good as Eduardo. This is a guy that can dominate goals like this. on that Bulls record, and it comes from the veteran in Eduardo Parasito, Arizona, on the board again. I hate to say I told you so, but no, who am I kidding? I love saying it. I told you so. Eduardo, you feed him a bull, it goes back to the right. Watch him have some fun on him, and a huge number coming up. 89 and a quarter. Arizona, they lead the league in rides from the number two and number three positions in the lineup, and a Parasito has been a big reason why. Take the fight to him. You've got to be aggressive. That's what they're looking for out of Leandro right now. Go, Leandro! Go, Leandro! Go, Leandro! Go, Leandro! Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Back the other way! Go with it! That way! Yes, sir! And Machado, yes, sir. he makes the moves. Direction doesn't matter. Into his hand, away for his hand. He's there for eight and more. Way to answer for Missouri. Yeah, big time bull ride right there. Bull kick and spin in both directions doesn't Good matter job, for Leandro man. Machado. Good job, hey. Needs to be at 88 and three corners to take the lead. Is it going to be enough? Good job, brother. And it is 90 points. First 90 we've seen on a Friday night. Yeah, that's huge. Take a look at this. And you want to talk about a confidence booster? When you take down a dragon like like this, this is something that is going to catapult him the rest of the season. I think that he steps up to the coaches and says, give me those dragons. I got them. I'll help you. I'll help this Thunder team win. Climb up that leaderboard a little bit higher heading into Las Vegas. Pereira punches his ticket to eight perfection. It's happening so far for Missouri. The Thunder, they're rolling. They're on the board again. Wait, wait a minute. Is it that easy? You ride a bull and you just start kissing the ladies in the crowd? You just asked Sage Kimsey if it's that easy. I'm pretty sure he's going to tell you yes. This is so good. Yeah. Wicked Dreams having a good day. Round of the ride. This is a good bull ride. Yeah, right there towards the end, everybody started to get a little bit scared. And look at Ross Coleman helping him all the way through that eight seconds. And big smile of approval from both the coaches for the Missouri Thunder. 88 and a quarter awarded to Pereira. And here's the Sozo with a chance to deliver from this spot. Souza, perfection is happening between Arizona and Missouri. We've Just waited all season to see a uh, perfect five for five. I'm going to be greedy. Let's go 10 for 10. Let's look for something spectacular here this weekend in Texas. 89 and three quarters. Did you see? Did you see the totals? Oh, we're tied. 89 and three we're quarter tied points. This one. And guess what? Come on, it's a whole new game on, now. Something about October. This is the final stretch before we go to Las Vegas, and we see it all the time in the regular season. It kicks into another gear. There's another energy in the locker room, and now these two locker rooms are feeling it. Yeah, what we're seeing is some fantastic bull riding tonight inside Dickey's Arena. The Cowboys of Thunder, if you will. We've got an insight with their reality TV show of the personalities and the dynamic of all of these guys. Oh! What a move from Moon Juice right out of the gate and Teal takes a hit to the door at that buck off time here, two and 12. Maybe the biggest surprise of the night for me, if you'd have told me that things would have been going the way they've been going in this game and that it would have been Cody Teal 
to come down. But look at the bull score, justifiable right there. 45 and a quarter points for Moon Juice, which means he, he didn't take off a day here. This bull brought the heat. Started to learn some tricks of the trade, if you will, in his short career. In Ivy League, doing exactly what all three of you had forecasted there with such big moves, and Morita comes down and one in 71, but what that does mean, we've got a tie game, folks, with one out remaining on each sideline. I don't know that you could have drawn it up any better, in complete honesty. And I know that we've had two consecutive buck offs, but think about what we had prior to that. It was punch, counter punch, punch, counter punch. The Bulls saw that, they took note of it. We've had back to back scores for north of 45. Bull score, 45 and a half points for Ivy League. If he rides him, watch out for that rider score. Go on, Vitor. Oh, oh, Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. What an out for Vitor Losnacki. Sails to the whistle board, Mr. Winston. Arizona, they take the lead late in the game. Deserves celebration from his teammates there on the dirt. 89 and three quarters. Yeah, and I was watching the celebration. I got caught up in seeing Vitor at the end of that ride. It almost looked as if he was doing the old Adriano Salgado celebration. Did anybody else notice? I mean, are we watching a rivalry start to build here between these two teams? I know what we're watching. And that's an 18-year-old guy that can ride bulls. Yeah, that's what I was watching. What a bull ride from Vitor Losnack. He's stepping up when his team needed it the most. Worth noting, top five scores we've seen from a team in a game. Vidras, he's got to be a 90 to walk this one off. Andrew Vidras comes in ever so clutch board pickle moonshine. He gets the ride. Is that going to be enough? That might be. The biggest ride of Andrew Alvidrez's career to date, and it's he's had some be. big moments. Hey, good job, amigo. What? Good job, amigo. 91 points. Wait, he does it. Alvidrez walks it off. Absolutely Man. spectacular by Andrew Alvidrez. And, and look at the rest of the Missouri Thunder. What the hell? They, hey, what are they telling? What yeah, they we're telling asking the know? same thing, Ross. Everybody's asking the exact same question. Challenging for a slap, and they went for the challenge button emphatically. So Alan Jordan is now back in the review room. Room, checking to see if Andrew Alvidrez touched that bull. It's going to decide this game. You saw Carolina do it. It's a why not, perhaps a Hail Mary move. And Sage, you're our expert up here. What do you think? Yeah, well, they could have seen something down there on the shoots. I didn't see it from our vantage point over here. Yeah, I, I think this is a, a, a call of a wing and a prayer. Yeah, I'll tell you, I was right by the shoots. The only feed, the only thing he touched was greatness. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I, we watch it again. It's not even close. Qualified ride, huge ride. Andrew Alvidrez, big time walk off. Two weeks ago in Ridgedale, Missouri, Alvidrez picked up a 90 point ride, and he backs that up right here with a 91 board pickle moonshine and. I truly believe last week, or two weeks ago rather, in Ridgeville, we were saying that was a career ride for Andrew, and now this just became that new ride. Absolutely. This is a moment that the entire team, the entire organization is going to look back at and have so much to build on, not next weekend in Arizona or even in Las Vegas, but I'm talking about for the rest of this history for this franchise. You know what that game just told me from uh, number three, number five team? Carolina, Oklahoma, Austin, watch out because we're coming. Ultimately, this one goes to Missouri, but it was close. 357 to 355 in three quarters. Well, and Allen is standing by with the man of the game, Missouri's Andrew Alvidrez. All right, Andrew, you get there in that closer spot. You know you have to have a ride, and you know it's got to be a pretty big one. Did you know how big it needed to be before that big gate swung open? No, the whole time I'm just focused on the process. Being a better bull rider, the outcome will take care of itself. Now, last uh, time out in Ridgedale, you scored a 90 for your team, and you didn't even know it until you got back to the bucking shoot. 
When you heard that score come up, what was your reaction? This is why I do it. I love this. I'm telling y'all, y'all are the greatest fans. Thank y'all for coming. We're going to keep at them. And you did it for your team tonight. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you, brother. Y'all have a good one. And Ralph Idres walks it off for the Missouri Thunder. They get a win here. They've got a stacked roster. Boy. To me, they're one of the teams that have all the momentum in these last two the games. Goal. Ezekiel Mitchell aboard Sammy. Out over him! Out over him! Out over him! Out of boy! Out over him! Out of boy! Out over him! Out of boy! Out of boy! Yeah! Mitchell yeah. matches the moves yeah. and makes the A. Austin no. waste no time to get on the board. Look, I hate to spoil the party right now, but I'm looking at red flags down on the arena floor. Tells me that the officials said Austin could have a re-ride if they, they want it. They have already declined the re-ride. Yeah, and that's a no-brainer to me right now if you're Coach Michael Gaffney and the Austin Gamblers. What I love about this is from the word go, Gaffney was coaching Ezekiel Mitchell. I'm not talking about motivating him or yelling at him, trying to get his energy. I, he was coaching him, and that is something that I think is going to be a unique dynamic between Gaffney and Zeke that really is going to benefit both sides. 75 and three quarters and talking about them being number four in the standings that's only two games back right now that's how close this race is they know they have the components Straight to win games up and go with him. Right yeah, yeah, Justin McBride just said it best. That was a heck of a ride well, I right mean, there I by the ice to, man. But <laughs> not sure I could. Take it away, Flint. Uh, Justin McBride, Kaiki Pacheco. Those are the kind of rides you need from him. Yeah, and those are the kind of rides that not just me, but everybody knows that guy's capable of. He hasn't had the season that he's expected himself to have. But watch out, because here comes the Iceman. 90 points. Thanks, Justin. Justin McBride, a little energy back here, guys. So both teams get that qualified ride. Let me remind you that Austin had a re-ride opportunity. They chose to keep that 75 and three quarters. And well, here comes Nashville with a 90, which basically means, hey, you got to put up more rides than us with those kind of scores. Yeah, right here, Taiki stepping out in a big way, putting it all over cold shot. Big scores, and that is why they drafted him number one. Lucas Devino getting set now for the Gamblers for Mike's motive. Do it, Lucas! Do it, Lucas! Do it, Lucas! Do it, Lucas! Yeah! Do it! Do it! Do it! Yeah! And he does! We said it was the party in Fort Worth on a Friday. Lucas! Loving every bit of it aboard Mike's motive. He gets on the board for the gamblers. Look, I said at the beginning of the night that it might be a very tough night on the bull riders because of the bull power we were going to see here. But I think the guys recognize that challenge. They have stepped up. We've seen some big time rides. Look no further than Lucas Davino. When you're a gambler and you get a qualified ride, you pass on the poker chips. 89 and three quarters here. Yeah, what a bull ride from Lucas. This is just absolute textbook. Mike's motive having a really good day in the gate to the right. And you can't ride one any better than that. Remember how I was talking about those ties that were happening for Nashville? Well, Austin's had some of those as well. So these are two teams that are saying, hey, we can't just put up the rides. We have to find a way to get big scores. Keep hey, that big smile charge. on his face. Take charge in here, Tiago. Tiago Salgado, Gordon Goldfinger. Okay. Show them how to do it, Salgado. Two up, two qualified rides for Nashville. It is looking good for McBride squad. Yeah, Tiago Salgado stepping in there and getting the job done. 87 and a half, and now we get a little backflip. Take it away, Tiago. Much deserved. Yeah, much deserved. But I gotta, I gotta believe that McBride and the staff of the Stampede, they've got to cringe every time they see him do that backflip and just pray that he sticks the landing. He stuck the landing on this bull after a great ride. Nice job, Tiago. These two teams, something about them is magical right now. And for 
this Just McBride squad, we said it, numbers don't say everything. This is a team that puts up the scores. Do it, Dalton Castle. Early in his career Atta still, boy. I Atta believe. Boy. Enjoy yourself. He's got a lot more to prove to the Bull Rise world. He's a board bobcat. Starting lineup, welcome to Gambler Nation, Don Castle, he's on the board. I think they're just as happy right now as they were when they were FaceTiming. And the announcement, and look at Dalton Castle, no big deal, that's what I'm expected to do. Guess what? He does what he's done all year long. 90 and a quarter. Let's remind everyone, beginning of the season, he was getting the rise, and you're saying, where are the 90s? Well, put him in the black and green of the Austin Gamblers, and then you get the 90s. Just needed a color change. There you That's go. why they brought him in. Dalton Castle, my goodness, stepping up in a big way. It's a great brothers. thing about this sport. Hey, you hey, never hey, know. Another clinch ride for Lemmy and the Austin Gamblers. They take the win. And look at the congratulations. The newest teammate to Jose Vitor Lemmy, Dalton Castle, out there to congratulate him on another monster performance. Yet again, another 90 this time. 91 points. Sage, uh, to me, it's incredible to you, I'm sure, that and much more. To be able to match up with the Bulls four times and to be at 90 every time, it's our Stillhouse Vodka Unbreakable moment. Oh, line them up. Jose Vitor going to knock them down every single time. This guy is so good. It's unbelievable what we see with that guy. Even his teammates, you can see, are in awe of what Jose Vitor Lemmy brings to the table. Forty-six and three quarters to 177 and a half. Game number three is in the books, and what a big one it was. And well, that's what we're expecting to see from Castle and Lemmy, and they're both standing by with Allen. Jose walking out of the dirt to join us as well. Let's start with you, Dalton. This has been, as you told me before, a difficult week. Now that you're here and you've had a chance to ride with this team, how was your night? You know, I've been super blessed in everything that I've done, and I'm very thankful for the Austin Gamblers, and I'm also thankful for the Kansas City Outlaws and what they have provided for me. And uh, I just can't thank this PBR enough for everything that they've done. Uh, it's a good start with your team, Jose. The move this week to add Dalton Castle to the Austin Gamblers. What was your reaction, and how has it played out uh, tonight for your team? Well, to have Dalton with us on our team, it's, it's amazing. Good job. Value. It's amazing because riders like him, everybody wants, so uh, thank you. Uh, we're so happy to have him, and I think it's the piece we was missing, and we're going to be good for the finals, and I hope he can help us, and we can do something big together. Here's what I know. There are an awful lot of smiles on guys wearing this Austin Gambler's green uniform tonight. Congratulations. Jose Vitor Lemmy and Dalton Castle. Guarantee if this crowd has anything to say about it, he's gonna ride this bull. I mean, it is electric. Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Cody controls a ride for A off to the side, but had all the toughness he needed. He gets the home team on the board early. Big ride, Cody Jesus stepping in there and knocking one down right out of the gate. And I think that's going to be big. We talk so much about momentum and getting the ball rolling. Texas starting to start looking for things like that. They've got their lineup. Now they've got momentum. And here comes Jesus out of the gate, 87 and three quarters for that effort. Seth Cohn said it early. Each one of these markets building a franchise, building the excitement. Texas has certainly accomplished that here so far tonight. Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Away from his hand, no big deal when you're Joao Ricardo Vieira. Two up, 
Two qualified rides for the home team. The Rattlers are rolling at Dickey's Arena. Just okay. like you drew it up, huh, Kate? I told you. Exactly what you were expecting. This is what we were expecting. Eight seconds, a qualified ride in the JRV that gets a score. Did you see what I saw? For a moment, he thought about going left. No, he didn't. Went right. No, he didn't. 83 points. I'm sure that was the book on him. You know how strong JRV is to the left. Runs a bull in, round to the right, no problem for Javier. Obviously, they've been shut out thus far. Got to change it. Oh, Roberts gets forward, though. Unable to make the necessary moves, and not good to see him down on the dirt. At buck off time, 2 and 21. Well, it's even scarier to see the way that he is moving back inside the bucket shoe right there, because that is a guy that they're really going to... Uh, to bank on when we get to Las Vegas. He's a young talent that's starting to come into his, into his own. And now you're just hoping that he's healthy and it looks like everything's gonna be okay. What happened here? Right here, just gets leaned forward right out of the gate and takes a big shot. You can see it. If I'm, if I'm Casey Roberts right here, this bull backs up just a little bit. So you know it's gonna wanna pull you forward. You have to get your hips down and set behind your rope. Ooh. Oh, a couple of big shots on his exit. Ugh. Home state guy. This is huge. I'm watching Cody Lambert here a couple of moments ago. This is big. Keep riding, Dan. Keep it going, Daniel. Keep him. Three for three right here on PBR teams. And this one in front of his home crowd on the home dirt for the Texas Rattlers in a huge upset for this Cody Lambert squad. Yeah, look, we'll call it an upset because of what we've seen this season, but if you ask Cody Lambert, take that word out of the vocabulary for his team. They're running hot, they're running heavy, and they're running fast. They're getting the job done, and they did it here. Call it a change in the tides is what you call it, because we are seeing a totally different Rattlers team in the start of this season and right here the effort from Daniel Keeping. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, this is big time for Daniel Keeping, a guy that certainly knows how to overcome some tough moments. And look at the confidence these guys are continuing to build at the right time to build it. What a game. I am standing by with Cody Jesus, Daniel Keeping, and the coach Cody Lambert. First you, coach, seven of your last eight. Brilliant coaching, it has to be, I know. <laughs> yeah, it was all me. I mean, that's the plan. These guys, uh, we didn't get the start of the year that we wanted to, but things are kind of coming together, and, and uh, we, can do, we can do a lot. And have been doing a lot, for sure. Cody, you've been with this team since the start of the season. What, what changed? What's turned the corner for this team? I think believing we're supposed to ride all our bulls. I, I know we can, and I mean, we're just getting rolling. And that, that's always Cody Lambert's instruction is you got to ride your bulls. Daniel, you've been riding your bulls. Congratulations. Another one tonight. Okay. How does this role feel for you? Man, I just feel blessed, first of all. And I want to thank the crowd without their support or their enthusiasm for us. This one helping and Jesus kicking it off with the bang and the rest of the team behind us push us, our coaches. It's a great feeling. And winning on your home floor to start the weekend has to be a good feeling for you. I couldn't hear you. I said winning on your home floor to start the weekend has to be a good feeling. Oh, that's amazing. That's, a, that's the, one of the most exciting things when we found out we're going to be in Fort Worth and Dickey's Arena was going to be our home arena. That was a big plus for why I even took this job. There you go. Here's your home team, folks, and they win tonight. Daniel Keeping, Cody Jesus, and Cody Lambert, the coach of the Texas Rattlers. And they do it in statement fashion. Three big qualified rides shutting out Oklahoma. And can you find the whistle board trail of tears? First time the two are matching up. Takes a hit, but he's up on the steal. 
time to celebrate, gamblers. You're on the board. And take a look at the guy that, that needed to get the score yesterday to go ahead and give him the full run of the table. Today steps up, does not let that opportunity slip through his fingers again. Nice job by Delima. You just had to remind him. I, I know, but it was a heartbreaker. We thought they could go a perfect five for five, but it, look, he's making up for it right here, right now. This is going to be a big ride for Austin and a big ride for Ramon. Yeah, 84 points. Yeah, and this is exactly why Austin reached out, brought in a guy like Ramon Delima, bring that veteran leadership in. You know, yeah, he gets bucked off last night. Short memory, turns around, puts it on one today, 84 points, gives his team the lead. Every thing he does in his life is so calculated. And I guarantee you the next eight seconds are. Montana jacket, just how big will it be? I've never seen anything like it. I've never had those instant expectations that we have with Jose B. Torlemi. We expect perfection every time. 91 and three quarters. Add that one to the record books. Add another 90 for Lemmy. Well, the great part about Jose V. Lemmy is you have these expectations and he kills it every single time. 91 and three quarters. Gosh, he's good. Yeah, take a look at the total score, 91 and three-quarter points. That bull had a good day. But look at the top number, the Riders score for Lemmy, 47 and a quarter points. That is a monster performance by Jose. Here's what I love. Jose very much helps Coach Gaffney in picking these matchups. His bull, that was the highest bull score of all, of all the bulls that they had, and he said, let me take him. Of course, because that is the bull he can be the most points on. Jose, the most confident guy in the sport right now. Of course, he's going to take the one that he can light the fireworks with. Every do it, thing he does in his life is so calculated. And I guarantee you the next eight seconds are. Montana jacket, just how big will it be? I've never seen anything like it. I've never had those instant expectations that we have with Jose B. Torlemi. We expect perfection every time. 91 and three quarters. Add that one to the record books. Add another 90 for Lemmy. Well, the great part about Jose V. Torlemi is you have these expectations and he kills it every single time. 91 and three quarters. Gosh, he's good. Yeah, take a look at the total score, 91 and three-quarter points. That bull had a good day. But look at the top number, the Riders score for Lemmy, 47 and a quarter points. That is a monster performance by Jose. Here's what I love. Jose very much helps Coach Gaffney in picking these matchups. His bull, that was the highest bull score of all, of all the bulls that they had, and he said... Let me take him. Of course, because that is the bull he can be the most points on. Jose, the most confident guy in the sport right now. Of course, he's going to take the one that he can light the fireworks with. Chase Outlaw found the whistle on this bull two weeks ago for 86 and a half. Can Hevelo do it here? Good to see him get loose as the protection team makes their way in. He's on the board, and this time it wasn't hanging off the side. He was right there center, ready for this one. Textbook bull rod. The get off could use a little bit of work, but this was a textbook bull rod from Colton Hevelo. God bless America, just having a nice day. In the gate to the left, into his hand. That was nice. Matches that score from Chase Outlaw two weeks ago, 86 and a quarter. 86 and a quarter for Hevelo. Made it look absolutely easy but as you can tell that dismount was terrible we're gonna work on the dismount he's getting the rides great job colton have a look well you go back to ridgedale missouri obviously it went the bulls way 
But Coach McBride talking it over with Matt Triplett. Just relax. Just he knows relax. how to get by this one. Take it to him, Matt Triplett. All day aboard Hawkeye Nashville. They answered big. They're on the board. And here we go. This is what we expect from the Nashville Stampede every single time they show up in a lineup. It is going to be a slugfest. Kansas City gets it done. Nashville bounces back and answers. Yeah, this was a really nice job for Matt Triplett on Hawkeye. You can see wild start right here. Bull really close to the steal. What does Matt Triplett do? Keeps his chin tucked and just finishes the ride out strong. 83 and a quarter for that effort and says so much. It was two weeks ago, it went the Bulls' way, and between Coach McBride and Triple A, they said, let's do this rematch again. Had all the faith in their veteran, and it paid off big. I know he wants to put on a show for his family, his teammates, and his franchise. Marcus Mass, a leader on this team, and he does it in the form of eight seconds, time and time and time again. Hurt so good, perfect matchup for the veteran. Kansas City back on the board. Yeah, Marcus Mast has been such a story this season. Kansas City Outlaws picking him up, and him not disappointing. Bull around to the left, into his hand, and Marcus has all the moves to answer. 88 points, and Mass. Well, he has found the whistle at the last six events, and right now he is two for two in Fort Worth. Great thing about this is we can talk about the story all we want. Bottom line is J.W. Hart saw what Marcus Mass could bring to the table. Can Nashville answer here? John Rique Lucas in the middle of the lineup. He's aboard Happy Gambler. It's a rubber match between these two. McBride, Lucas, loving it as well on the board. Nashville turn, answers. Is it enough to take the lead? Looking well, for 91 and a quarter. And Joao Enrique Lucas looking for the front office staff of the Nashville Stampede, giving them the thumbs up and says, look, we're very much still in this thing. We're going to do what we've got to do to get where we need to go. Joe Henry getting them on the board with a big one. 89 and a quarter. 89 and a quarter and worth every point of it. My favorite part about this bull ride, you could hear head coach Dust McBride telling him to get tough about the five or six second mark. What does he do? Pulls a foot, starts spurring him, shows complete and total control. Silvano comes down and Yellowknife not done yet, making his way around the arena in the shark cage. Uh, it seemed like he was in the right position out of the gate. The timing got a bit off here, and that buck off time stands at 6 and 13. Yeah, this is a big, strong Charlet bull that Silvano's got under him right here, and you can tell the whole time moving forward, yanking on him. Silvano's fighting, clawing for anything he can get. That is just a tough one to get by. He was in a dog fight from the word go, and then right there, look at Cody Webster picking that bull up. Uh, Silvano not realizing how close he was. Webster, Johnny on the spot as always. His teammates are trying to uh, negotiate with the judges. Not happening. There's the nod. Doing Dos Santos. He gets past those big moves the third time. The charm right here for this JW Hart team. Kansas City, they're on the board once again. Yeah, exactly. You saw how quickly he had been bucked off those first two times. That was the difficulty for Rafael Enrique Dos Santos. He weathered that storm and ultimately came out with a big one. 89 points for Dos Santos for Pookie Hollard. Very much what you expect of that bull that always delivers somewhere around a 90 when a guy hears the whistle. Yeah, this is a big time bull ride from Dos Santos, and it is. Pookie Hollard, he's known for pulling guys down, hitting them in the face. Dos Santos bows his chest, doesn't let it happen today. That should answer our question from earlier, is that after he's had so much difficulty the first two times, why would you give it back to him? Alan, you must be new around here, because J.W. Hart's never going to make an excuse for anything.
seal the deal for this Kansas City team. Have we ever seen J.W. Hart smile as much as we have the last couple of nights? He's got to be so proud of his guys because of that toughness, that effort they're throwing out. Bob Mitchell, nice job. 81 and three quarters, break it down for us, H. Yeah, not gonna be the biggest score in the world, but oh my goodness, the effort and try right here. Most guys give up right there. They look for a safe place to land. What does Bob Mitchell do? Keeps staring that bull down, keeps his hand shut, somehow gets back in a good <laughs> position <laughs> and binds Bader for his team. Look at that team. Just imagine we get to Las Vegas and what Sunday could look like if they stay on a roll like this and find a way to fight and claw the three qualified rides. Went the Bulls way with first down, but a lot of experience has Bulls seen since. Oklahoma are on the board early here. Freedom, they're finding it in Fort Worth. When Eli got on this bull back in Wyoming, he was a much different bull rider. Fast forward today, Eli and the entire Freedom franchise, much, much different. 87 and a half, and we've seen in these games before, it's one thing to be the first team to put a ride on the board, it's another when you're north of 85 and you start to put the pressure on out of the gate. All day long. Trevor Rice next to go. Take a look there at his hand. Sage, you'll comment on this, of course, after the ride. It looks like it's close to that nod. The Punisher, the bull. The Punisher, such a tough bull to get by. Only two have wait, ever wait, done it at this wait, level. Wait, and as for wait, Rice, here he goes. First ride, PBR team. What about that one? Yeah, well, all you got to do to ride the Punisher is turn your hand around, put it in your rope the other way. Trevor Reese showing up in a big way for Oklahoma and riding a very tough bull to get by. Sage, if your name is next to that bull at all, <laughs> I expect that move from you. I'm going to say what everybody's thinking. Sage, that is the dumbest thing you've said all <laughs> season long. Don't tell Rice that. It worked uh, uh, for 84 and three quarters. Absolutely. Of course it worked. Everybody knew he was going to ride that bull. But what I'm curious about is I don't know if anybody else heard this, but Gordon McCoy having a conversation with the official back there, and i really love to know what that conversation was. Trevor, your first ride in PBR teams, and that was a wild one. Take us through it. Oh, I knew that bull was going to be a little tough to get by, but I just gritted my teeth through it and tried to ride him jump for jump, do whatever it takes. That was uh, uh we're, we're trying to get used to your different style with your hand facing over the top. Where did you come to that? Uh, I had a wrist injury a long time ago, and uh, I was going back and forth, and finally I said, I better just do it, keep it this way, and I won't have to have it. It won't hurt anymore, so we made it work. And, and you made it work for eight tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Vitorlo Snacky, he's aboard the right Come stuff. there and saying, hey, qualified ride for Arizona. I'm going to say something and let me explain this. It is under review. Ignorance is bliss. And I say that because Vitor is an 18-year-old that does not know the reputation of this bull. And I know that for a fact. After talking to both of his coaches, they were looking at the lineups, and he says, yeah, I'll take that one. Looked at a couple of videos. He has no idea what kind of reputation this bull has. And at 18, he does not care. With his ability, he should look at every bull the same. And that, I think, is why this benefited the Rich Riders so, so well. So what they're reviewing for here is to see if there was a slap before he got to eight. Okay. 
Yeah, and, and Allen right there in the thick of things, letting us know what they're looking at. Now that we know, this is going to be a tough one. And such a crucial out. And now being told a qualified ride. Number two, Oklahoma. Number three, Arizona. Let's not forget top two teams at the end of Glendale next weekend. Will they get a ever so important buy when we get to Las Vegas on Friday? And when we get to Vegas, you can speak on it in a minute how important it is to have that night off. Let's go to the score. 90 and three quarters. Just two weeks ago in Ridgedale, Missouri, it was Losnacki who put up a 91. And it, right before that, Oklahoma City, it was a 90. His third 90 now. If you're one, of those, top, yet. If you're one of those top two teams in Vegas, how important is that extra rest? I think Cole Brav and I think what about all those walk-off rides in Oklahoma City? Let's get another eight-second one. Goes flying, but wait for the big celebration, and rightfully so. Huge one for Oklahoma. What a way to turn it around after getting shut out to put up so many rides, and they're not done yet. Brandon Bates said something at the draft that was super compelling. He said, we have not seen the best version of Derek Kobaba yet. What? This is the guy that contended for a world title, and he was right. 92 points. Remember at the start of the game, I was saying they lead the league with 90s. It's been Cole Baba, Outlaw, Casey Roberts, Briggs Madsen, all 90s, and yet here's another one for you. 92 for Cole Baba. Light him up. 92 points. Soul Train having a great day. Getting it on around to the left. Cole Baba matching him move for move. Wow. Away from his hand, make it two for two aboard Mike's effect. And let's not forget, minutes after he was just slammed against the steel, comes back to finish off the game like that. Hello, Briggs Madsen. Toughness, he's got it. Well, nobody knew who he was on draft day when Oklahoma selected him. Everybody is learning quickly not only who he is, but how incredibly talented he is as well. 86 and three quarters, so even betters his score from the last time the two met up about a month and a half ago. Wow. Oklahoma Freedom, they are rolling. Start this season, came back from injury, was a part of the supplemental draft. Carolina, glad he's back. position but it doesn't matter the 2016 world champ fights right through the whistle did somebody say swagger nobody has swagger like cooper davis look at that confident cool calm collected he's got a gold buckle that says champ of the world and it's because of things like this he was out of position should have been bucked off got back to the middle got to the eight seconds most importantly and what from one world champ to another there is swearing gin on the back of the shoes Big time performance by one of your two world champions here for Carolina. Well, this bull will go either direction. He's a nice draw for Joe out. I look for him to get the Rattlers on the board. And Joe out does just that. Pull the rope. Get on your feet. 37 years old, he finds the whistle and does it the same way you see all the young guns doing it. Why? Because that's why he's a Texas Rattler. Cody Lambert, there's a reason that he drafted that one. That's what you expect from JRV every single time his head clears the gate. You expect to watch eight seconds of fast fury coming at you and end with a smile by the talented Brazilian. 87 and a half, and we set it into his hand. You can't buck the guy off. Oh, he's he's as good as they come. When the Bulls jump out, turn back to the left, and he knocks another one out of the park. It makes this a very close game now. It's a great setup that Carolina's got going on. Then you throw in Sandro Batista, one of the newest acquisitions for the Cowboys. He's a board dagger. Dagger 
doesn't take it easy on Batista at all. Pull the rope, you made the whistle. Sandro, now a Carolina Cowboy, and he's on the board for the team. And one of the newest members of the team, but immediately stepping into a role of productivity. Sandro Batista is a guy that was being productive for Arizona, but because they had some returning superstars, they had to open up some spots on their roster, much to the benefit of Carolina. Take a look at the reaction here. They're obviously glad to have this Brazilian on the team. All four rides. Batista had coming into this, now his fifth qualified ride. He had a walk-off ride two weeks ago. Can he do it again? 84 and a quarter is the mark he needs. Pull the rope! Can you hear him keeping? Inside Dickey's Arena, they're loving everything they see, and for good reason. He gets the ride, it should be more than enough, and it is, 89 and three quarters, keeping, walks it off again, Texas, they pull off the upset over Carolina. Not only can Daniel Keeping hear the home crowd right now, I guarantee you they can hear these Rattler fans all the way on the East Coast back in Carolina, justifiably so. What an incredible performance by a guy that just keeps giving more and more and more to this Texas Rattlers franchise. The Rattlers take the win here at home over number one Carolina Cowboys pulling off the upset continuing that win streak let's send it down to Allen in the middle of the team celebration and the handshake line is the hero once again Daniel keeping first things first did I just see you reach out and high five one of the bullfighters while you were still on top of that bull no, no sir <laughs> just trying to do my job it sure looked like it tell us about doing your job you knew your team needed a ride how confident were you you could get one on that bull? Man, you always got to be confident when you nod. And like I said last night, the team, the fans, and God, anything's possible. You only signed with this team in late August. How do you feel about doing what you're doing for this team at the highest level of the sport? I'm just appreciative of the chance and the opportunity in taking it. So like I said, we're kicking on the burners now. They certainly are. The Texas Rattlers walk it off tonight on their home floor. Daniel Keeping gets the job done. So we, I went over to Dallas and I went to the football game. Hey. I went to the Texas game. Oh. I, would, I would say the Texas-Oklahoma game, but there really wasn't, Oklahoma really wasn't there. Yeah, but, they never showed up. But I started in the student section. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, my God, that's just so real. It's creepy. I know. And I, know. I did so good, and the game got so under control that halfway through the game, I changed, and I just coached the game. <laughs> and look what happened. Look really? him horn, son. <laughs> uh. But he's got about 15 seconds to nod his head and get that gate open as that tractor supply company oh. shoe clock winds down. Here we go, Hevelo. The extra time in the steal, it all pays off on the dirt. Colton Hevelo to the whistle aboard Chief. Kansas City, they're on the board. Absolutely right. Colton Hevelo, how you doing in Fort Worth, Texas? J.W. Hart, got to be happy with that 19-year-old and what he has produced here this weekend. 85 and a quarter for the effort aboard Chief. Yeah, great ride from Colton Hevelo right here, Chief. Having a good day, looking right, back around on the left, Hevelo staying with him every jump. Puts him on the board. Yeah, and not only putting him on the board, Hevelo is now perfect here this weekend. He's ridden three out of three. And look at Coach Hart, Marcus Mass, and the crew counting on the kid from Missouri. Was there any type of difference there? Well, I think it just comes from the maturity and the experience that Mass talked about. He's a young guy. If he finds the whistle, Kansas City wins it. What about Bob? 
Hangs on the side. Did he have the rope long enough? His teammates and coach think so. The clock will have stopped at 7 and 93. It will go to an automatic review. Ruling is any ride where that clock stops over 7 and 85 will go to that automatic review. So Kansas City will not have to use their one challenge they're awarded in the game. And what an out this would be for Mitchell. Not only would it make him perfect on the weekend, but it would give Kansas City the win. Mitchell would be the man to clinch it. We talked about Cody Teal and his temperament. You see some similarities here in Bob Mitchell. Obviously, uh, opposite end of the spectrum, the 19-year-old versus the 30-year-old. But at 19, he just stays so collected in everything he does. I mean, really doesn't waver, doesn't get too happy, doesn't get too terribly frustrated. The crowd, coach, are all feeling like it is a qualified ride, Sage. What do you think? I think it's definitely going to be a qualified ride, unless this angle right here shows us something else. His hand's still in the rope. Get the score. Get the score, guys. Make it three in a row, Mitchell. Qualified ride aboard homegrown and a win for Kansas City. It's the first 3 0 team we have here in Fort Worth. And Bob not looking overly excited. I think he's going to be a little bit frustrated with himself because he kind of messed him up towards the end there, and he feels like he should have taken all of the doubt away. Should not have had to go review in his mind, but doesn't matter. A score is a score. Bob Mitchell picking one up. And 84 and three quarters at that, Allen. Bob, I know you had to wait for a second to get that score, but congratulations, a three for three weekend. What are your thoughts? I mean, I got these last couple weeks off. I got to go get on my own bulls, got to go get on some, had some bull team deals, and it's got me back in boy out of shape again. I mean, just praying, keeping your mind right, being in boy out of shape, and keeping God on your side, man. And it's gonna help you a lot. Congratulations. Thank you, sir, appreciate it. So the Outlaws are the first 3-0 team, and we will have two 3-0 teams here because don't forget, the two Texas teams they play later, one of them will be 3-0 as well. As for Kansas City, first time they have been perfect on a weekend. Off there, taking a deep breath, resetting, and ready to do it. what separates world champs it's experience everything that happened before the nod that gets erased davis does it yet again this time finds the whistle board pickle moonshine carolina first out of the gate little bit of drama thrown in the mix there but cooper davis as always rises to the occasion stepping up in a big big way but speaking of stepping up watch one of the bullfighters cooper wall is going to take a shot but the biggest shot is to the momentum of the Carolina Cowboys. Wow, you saw it right at the end there. Good to note that uh, Cooper Wan is on his feet, but now being helped out of the arena by the sports medicine team. Cody Webster, Lucas Teodoro will be staying on the dirt, really is a two-man team for the time being. Why Cooper Wan is evaluated back by the locker rooms. Let's take a look back at that beyond the ride and let's not forget also a, a 91 and three quarters take a look at this yeah this is a, a, ba a pretty oh, bad wow. shot there for Cooper Wan coming down and you can see Cooper Davis getting away watch this this is what these guys do they sacrifice their own bodies and that could have been much much worse the good news is Cooper walking out of here and you talk about this now uh, being forced into a two-man team Look for him just to slide up and not right there. here. Go, 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 go. Oh. It goes the other way for the first time these two have met up. Swearingen comes down in 5 and 11 and takes a shot on his back once he hits the dirt as well. Such surprised, I don't believe anyone saw it going that way. I can promise you that Carolina buck and shoot had a whole lot of question marks on their faces right now. What just happened with their world Ooh. champion? And that 
adds even more drama. Watch this bull's back feet come crashing down on Dalen. And with that, Carolina's had all five of their outs. It should be smooth sailing. And he has a way of dressing up those spinners so well. He made it around that move. Can he go the distance? He does. Derek Colbaba keeps his right of ways alive. Come on, Oklahoma, Come on, they get on the board. Is it going to be enough here? You can hear Gordon McCoy, come on 92, come on 92. Well, come on Cole Baba, keep those rides coming in. 89 and a quarter. So it's not going to be enough to take the lead. And they're gonna need a qualified ride out of that very last out from Trevor Rice. It's not gonna be enough to take the lead, but don't take anything away from Derek here and what he was able to accomplish. He was marked well over this bull. Half of the score for the bull, half for the rider. Well, Derek absolutely dominated this matchup. Back in the bucking chute, hat on, standing over the top of Trevor Rice, trying to encourage his new teammate. He's got to find a whistle to get the win. Finish it! Finish it! Finish it! Rice rises to the occasion in his debut weekend. Brand new member of the Oklahoma. Freedom. He finds the whistle, walks it off. Oklahoma is your new number one team. Welcome to the Oklahoma Freedom, Trevor Rice. Welcome to the winner's circle. And now he takes that spot as the hero to get it done and get his team the win. 87 points aboard Marciano. Two teams coming in. Same record, so many similarities with powerhouses of players here. And Oklahoma pulls it off in the very last play of the game in this one. Courtesy, Trevor Rice. Call them the closers. Oklahoma Freedom getting this one late in the game. Courtesy of Derek and Trevor. And Allen is standing by with both. All right, let's, uh, let's start with Derek first because you are typically the closer. Your team needed a ride. You climbed in there. And, and your trip around was an interesting one, wasn't it? Oh, man, uh, you know, those, those high-pressure situations are just seeming to, to really make me thrive. You know, I, I just love it, and I don't know, I'm just still, still in awe with what Trevor just did right there. That was, that was great stuff, and uh, I, don't think, I don't think there's a word for how we all, describe, how we all feel right now. What I just said one of the things I love about teams is you got up off the dirt, went right back into the bucking chute, put the hat on, and you were leaning over, encouraging. Trevor Rice, your first weekend with the Oklahoma Freedom, and you just closed a win for them for first place. How do you feel? Oh, great. I knew I had to follow up uh, Derek's bull ride, and he got me fired up, and this was a bull that they, were, they said I should ride, so I just knew I had to do it. Welcome to PPR teams. Derek Obama, Trevor Rice, the Oklahoma Freedom walk it off today against Carolina. And that win moves Oklahoma from number two on the season to number one, overtaking the spot that Carolina has held for quite some time as we take a look at the road to Vegas season standing. Pacheco just has to buy in. Keep moving! Keep going! Keep moving! Perfect Pacheco. The pass, forget about it. This time, it goes a champ's way aboard little two train. Nashville on the board. And that's all it takes for the Nashville Stampede. Start with your leadoff guy. Kaiki gets it done, and now everybody else just follows suit. That is a big momentum shift for Nashville, and in particular for Kaiki. 83 and a half for Pacheco here to get Nashville going first and Matt Triplett all in with their number one guy in the lineup. Pacheco had only ridden two of his last eight. And who really does their homework is this coaching staff matching up these goals. Body count, the one for DeCastro. But he 
he found a way to ride through the whistle aboard body count. Incredible effort. What a ride to get Arizona on the board. Yeah, this was a Cowboys bull ride. Luciano in bad shape a few times. What does he do? Bear down, grits his teeth, keeps his hands shut, and keeps making some big moves. Luciano is usually the closer for his team. Four times now he's been the leadoff guy. Four times he's gotten them on the board from the very beginning. 87 points, so Arizona takes the lead in this one. When Snake's in your name, you just got to ride at Rattler Days. Sit up, sit up. The third day in a row at 18 years old, no pressure, rides, no problem. Arizona back on the board. And the snake strikes again, much to the uh, joy of Chase Doherty there, rejoining his team on the back of the bucket shoots after injury. But man, oh man, Vitor just continuing to show up, show out, show the world why the Ridge Riders bet on Vitor. This one, 89 and a half aboard cold shot. Perfect on the weekend. All of them for 89 or better. When you've got Snake in your name, you ride at Rattler Days. Lo Snacky showing the world what he could do right here at Dickey's Arena, Arizona. He's perfect here this weekend in Fort Worth. Two for two. JRV trying to make it three in a row. Let the hats fly and the celebration begin. Vieira gets the Rattlers on the board right out of the gate. Woo! We knew this was going to be a back and forth battle of fireworks here between Austin and Texas. JRB helping the Rattlers strike first in a big, big way on a bull that he's been north of 90 on twice before. What are the numbers going to look like this time around? That's the question. And either way, giving the Rattlers the edge with that gambler buck off. And teammate Ejene Caminas loves the way Vieira started this one. Wow, 89. Yeah, great way for JRV to start it off for the Rattlers. You think his teammates weren't excited to welcome him to the crew? Oh, wow, that was quick and hung up on his feet trying to get that hand out of the bull rope, and he does take such athleticism being in those scenarios and good to see him out of it. But big wave, what a move to get Castle down in 1-06. And, and it is not often you see even in a buck off, Castle comes off that early. Yeah, no impressive out from this young bull big wave. I mean, in the gate around to the left and it is over early. That left foot came flying up really, really quickly. And 45 and a half points for big wave making big waves here is what that bulls doing that's one that uh, I guarantee The powers that be are gonna start to put a star by that bulls name We might see him in a bonus round and I think if he rides this bull Austin takes the lead you put him in that number five spot. He wants to hear from the people because that was huge for Austin. Lemmy makes it look so easy. He absolutely dominates Bulls. And I think the issue here is he might have made it look too easy. Yeah, it's not enough. 88 and a half, he had to be 89 and you can already hear the crowd. You never think that Lemmy is going to be anything below a 90. But let me show you the difference between Jose Vitor Lemmy and everybody else in this sport. Did you see him? He recognized himself getting frustrated and he immediately took a deep breath and he raced it. That is the difference between a guy we're talking about to be the greatest ever and everybody else. He can shut it off that quickly and it's on to the next one. Get back to my team and let's move forward. That, that is that is one of the most incredible. See that? Watch his own reaction to what he just did. He's going to shake his head. 
realize it, take a deep breath, and everything's erased. He closed the game, walked it off against Theodore, that bull Lemmy had a night ago. Now he's got to move over it. God damn! Sit up! Run! Run! Keep running! Keep running! Keep it continues! His perfect streak! Make no bull riding world! Daniel Keeping, he's here to stay. And so are the Texas Rattlers. Are you kidding me? Daniel Keeping is keeping everything at the highest level for his entire franchise. Woo, man, Daniel Keeping has, look, the embrace. He is emerging as a superstar player right now, and it is so fun to be a part of. Yeah, that GM, Mark George, coming in for the celebration. Daniel keeping a free agent for this Texas Rattlers squad that we did not even see the first half of the season. Now he comes in just absolutely on fire. Not only is he perfect here, but he is now riding at 80%. We were just talking about Cooper Davis riding at 80%. Hello, Daniel keeping for the Texas Rattlers. Well, they've won seven straight, and that was a big one over the in-state rival Austin Gamblers. And what that does, Gives us two 3-0 teams right here at the Rattlers event. Kansas City Outlaws and Texas Rattlers. Can Texas win on their home dirt? Oklahoma is the only team to do it. Can Texas be next? U.S. Border Patrol pick of the pin right here. Cool whip. 246 plus full scores this season. Can Wingson get it done? Whoa! was about to be huge for De Silva. Oh, we all wanted to see that go to the whistle. Just imagine the kind of score it would have been. The back of the shoots, every teammate thought it was happening. So why did it not hear buck off time, seven and 36? Well, cool whip skills on full display, 46 and a quarter points. Look at his teammates on the back of the buck and shoots. Oh. Even in defeat, 7.3, they understand and recognize how tough that bull is. To get better, his team recognizes that, giving him the opportunity to get on a world-class bucking bull here today. Ooh. Takes a shot on the way down. Two and 33, that buck off time. Two and 34 was the buck off time of Callum Miller. That we're, close. We're splitting hairs here. I mean, it really is going to be that crucial. And that's why every second counts in these bonus rounds. And when you when you look back, the Arizona Ridge Riders, they continue to try to just hang on. Every second counts for them for a whole other reason. They've got a, a Lena Pope organization. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys to the newest gambler who's going to be riding with us tomorrow night, Dalton Castle. <laughs> Feeling it. Team member Ezekiel Mitchell helping him get out of the arena into safety. Got the ride, but now you think, wow, what was the, the cost here for their new gambler? Look, Dalton Castle takes a huge hit, but it is nowhere near as big as wow. this performance. Take a look at this. He keeps shifting, setting, working, grinding. Oh. Takes the shot, obviously, he's going to have his chickens rattled a little bit and that again you oh. ask at what cost 93 and a quarter huge hit sage your reaction says it all who is it that's going to take it all the way daniel keeping he's aboard blue duck in front of his home crowd in his home state. Texas Rattlers get the qualified ride and Daniel Keeping 
is perfection on the dirt inside Dickey's Arena. Rattler Nation start printing the t-shirts, calling Dan the man, put a mustache on it, and let him fly high because Daniel Keeping has been lights out for this new Texas Rattler squad. And I say new because this is such a different team than it was at the beginning of this season. Tell me one person when we go back to week number one in Cheyenne that would have said Daniel Keeping is going to be the man getting the perfect rise. We know the highlight reel that is Whoopa. Let's go, Marcus Mast. Wow. Mast. Oh, he was mustering up those moves and made such corrections. It was incredible, but Whoopa ultimately gets him down in 6-82, and 82, and your home team takes this one at home here at Texas, and wow, the celebration has started, and it's all because of what Daniel Keeping was able to do here. It is your Kubota ride of the day, and it was a big one for 92 and a half. That's a Kubota ride of a lifetime for Daniel Keeping right here. This is one he's never going to forget. I hope he takes this video and someday shows it to his kids, his grandkids, his friends, his neighbors, strangers in the store. This is one you can brag about forever. Daniel Keeping, great job. And this is your final event standing. So Texas Rattlers, they get more bonus round points and they get the win and it is big. And as we take a look here at your season standings, it is just three wins separating number seven outlaws with number one, Oklahoma Freedom. And we only have one more week to go before we get to Las Vegas. Well, that's a wrap for Rattler Days here at Dickey's Arena. Be sure to join us next week for Ridge Rider Days from Glendale, Arizona, Saturday on CBS, Sunday on CBS Sports Network. For Alan Bestwitz, Sage Kimsey, Matt West, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Harrison. Thanks for watching Rattler Days inside Dickey's Arena.